Hi everyone, I'm Shantara Chapman, President of Powher Consulting, here with another installment of Ally in Action. Today I'm talking about self-care habits for the workplace. But first, our quote. Mandy Hale said, it's not selfish to love yourself, take care of yourself, and to make your happiness a priority. It's necessary. When we think of how organizations look after employee well-being, we typically think of things such as ergonomic desks and fire evacuation plans. Workplace safety committees have become almost standard practice in companies of any size. So how about emotional care? Companies are starting to take notice that employees want to take better care of their emotional health and are now grasping the importance of self-care in the office. Today, I wanna to share three ways you can practice self-care in the office to better take care of you. Number one, be aware of your stressors. Everyone is different and needs to know what exactly causes stress. Is it the workload, the people you work with, meeting deadlines? Self-awareness is key to knowing what you need to do to look after your emotional needs. And number two, say no. You may be thinking, or have been led to believe that saying no means you're not a good team player or you may miss out on being promoted. However, it's an essential part of letting the people you work with know that you're at your limit. Let it be known that if you accept the extra work, the quality of the work that you do will suffer to the detriment of the team and the organization. Simone Biles showed us precisely what this looks like last week at the Olympics. Number three, Give yourself grace. When you've given your best effort and things don't go as planned, practice being gentle on yourself. Ask yourself how you can use the experience to help you improve in the future. Look at all the setbacks as temporary and not indictments on you as a person. Don't beat yourself up about it. Self-care is personal, which means no one can dictate how or when you may need a break from a given activity or how you should feel. We all work hard and sometimes become overwhelmed. Taking time off does not make you any less successful. It makes you smart. Remember, no one can take care of you better than you. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this information valuable. If you have any questions about the content of this video or any other question about self-care in the workplace, feel free to reach out to me at shantara at powherconsulting.com. Have a great week. Bye.